All right, Jesse, we've got a got a brand new one here. Um, so what can you tell me? We've we've negotiated with a bunch of different banks these days. Um, I mean, obviously the big ones, Bank of America. Uh, we've taken over stuff from Chase. We've dealt with a lot of the local ones. We've dealt with uh, Washington State Employees Credit Union, BECU, and you know the list goes on. Um, however, you just told me here recently something about Wachovia that you had had actually a really positive experience with them, and I'm really curious to hear what you had to say. Yeah, I, I guess I want to solicit that we'll take any and all Wachovia short sales we can get our hands on. And, and, why, and why is that? <laughs> I have a Wachovia short sale, uh, Wachovia being the first lean position, okay. and uh, I did my due diligence, I, I, I researched the comps, I, I put the the property had a value that was at market. Mm -hmm. I got an offer in four days. Probably took me two days to put that short sale packet together. That's phenomenal. And get it sent off to Wachovia. Yeah. And uh, and then it's a waiting game, generally. You're waiting right. for them to get through that whole that whole process. And generally, they're, the banks are asking for updated information. Right. Even though I sent them everything that's updated, they at least have to call me and pretend that I didn't. Right. And then I have to say, really, look at page 83. And they're like, oh, okay, that's where that's there at. There it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't notice that. My deli sandwich was in the way. <laughs> but um, I get a phone call from Wachovia seven days after I submitted a short sale to tell me that it will be assigned to a negotiator within the next seven days. Which on itself, it doesn't sound that, that astounding. No. But until, it, until Tell them what the normal <clears throat> normal time frame for that well, is. Well, Bank of America doesn't assign you to a negotiator. Um, there's the document collection process through Equator. Right. And I'd say, if you, even if you're fast at that, I'd say that's an easy 10 days to 14 days. I right. think Chase can be, we've had experiences where it's 30 to 45 days before you get a negotiator. Right. Right. We're getting better at that, and so I'd say on average it's two to three weeks. And actually, as a side note on that Chase comment, I, I've got a Chase that I'm working on right now, one one file I'm working with Chase on a condo that's very, been very challenging because of HOA issues. But in this case, Chase has actually been calling me. We haven't got an offer yet, and they're already right. on the phone calling me every two weeks. So. Well, I can beat that. <laughs> and banks are definitely being more proactive in our in the short Absolutely. sale world, which we, we love. Really seeing that. We love that. Um, Bank of America used to have the worst reputation of all of them. And so, right. actually, if you're watching this and you're a homeowner with Bank of America and you you just have rotten things to say, I believe you. I understand right. that. But the reality is, is that we actually prefer Bank of America short sales right now because they they've, they've, they've figured been doing it a out. much better job. They they've come around. So Wachovia tells me seven days in that I'll be assigned to a negotiator seven days later. Seven days later, I get a phone call from the negotiator telling me the short sale is approved. That's phenomenal. They didn't. It's just yeah. They didn't order a BPO. They didn't. Yeah. I, they may have looked through the paperwork. Thankfully, I submit a complete packet, so I know that they didn't need anything there. Well, and I think that's something else to comment on. <clears throat> We're talking about the bank is, has to develop a level of confidence in our abilities to do the, do our job. Obviously, Jesse prevented it, pre presented the information that they needed to make decisions, and that's ultimately what it ends up being about. They have to know and have confidence that we're doing our job on the ground, and then they're able to move forward and make their decisions. And they made their decision like that. Right. I mean, I had a decision, and it was kind of fortunate because the second is one of these seconds that didn't want to do anything until they had approval from the first. Right. And how cool was it that two weeks after I submitted the short sale packet, I told them I had full approval. Yeah. And Wachovia gave the sellers $3,000 in moving expenses. And it's not a half a short No half a and still $3,000. Yeah. Yeah. And so Wachovia, here's the thing about Wachovia, and I don't know any Wachovia employees, and I don't know what their policies are. I, I have the feeling they may have made some bad loans. Possibly. At one point it's, in time. It's, it's remotely possible. And I think they're doing whatever they can to get those to off their unload, portfolio. Yeah. And they're being way more proactive than other Than, than anybody banks. we've seen recently. And so yeah. if you have a Wachovia short sale in the state of Washington, um, by all means, please, please consider a short sale because there's a very good chance you're going to get that short sale approved and there's a good chance that you'll get moving some moving expenses and there's a good chance that that'll take a very right. short amount of time. Right. And, so. and again, just in case you didn't hear that at the beginning, we're happy to help you out with that. Yeah, so Jesse Moore, Dennis Pierce, uh, Pickett Street property team. Um, short sale, I would say short sale consumer advocates for the state of Washington. Absolutely. And so certainly we want to list short sales, but more than anything, we'd rather have you listen to us 
and maybe uh, examine what we say and compare that to what other agents are telling you. Right. There certainly are great agents that, that handle short sales. Absolutely. And there are certainly some bad agents that handle short sales. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.